This video covers the second part of section 3.5, Proofs in Set Theory. In this video, we're going to look at some operations on sets. We can combine sets using operations in a manner analogous to arithmetic operations on numbers. So we'll start with our definitions. Let A and B be subsets of a universal set U. The union of A and B, which is denoted with our union symbol, is the set of all elements belonging to either A or B or both. So in symbolic form, A union B is a set of X in our universal set U such that X is in A or X is in B. The intersection of A and B, which is denoted using our intersection symbol, is a set of all elements belonging to both A and B. So A intersect B is a set of X and U such that X is in A and X is in B. The difference of B minus A, or this is also called the relative complement of A and B, which is denoted B minus A is the set of all elements which belong to B but do not belong to A. So B minus A is the set of X and U such that X is in B and X is not in A. Now it's important to understand that in this notation the minus symbol is used for the relative complement of A and B. This is not the same as the arithmetic minus. So we're not subtracting one element from another element. We're subtracting one set from another set. Finally, the complement of A, which is denoted A with a superscript C, is the set of all elements in U which do not belong to A. So A complement is the set of X in U such that X is not in A. So we'll start with a couple examples to uh, computing some of these uh, set operations. So let's let U, our universal set, be the set containing the integers from 1 through 8. A will be the set containing 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. B will be the set containing 2, 4, 6, and 8. And we want to find some sets. First off, A union B. This is the set of all elements in either A or B, or in both. So A union B will consist of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 8. Now notice that 2 and 4 belong to both A and B, but we only write them down one time. We don't have multiple copies of elements in sets. Next up, A intersect B. This is the set of all elements in both A and B. So this is the set of elements that A and B have in common, which is just going to be the set containing 2 and 4. A complement is the set of all elements in our universal set U, which are not in A. So the universal set consists of the integers from 1 through 8. A contains 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So the elements in our universal set, which are not in U, are going to be 6, 7, and 8. Next up, A minus B. So this is the set of all elements in A that do not belong to B. Now of the elements in A, 2 and 4 also belong to B. So A minus B is going to consist of the remaining elements in A, namely 1, 3, and 5. B minus A will be the set of all elements in B that do not belong to A. Now, of the elements in B, once again, 2 and 4 also belong to A, so B minus A is going to consist of the remaining elements in B, namely 6 and 8. For another example, let's suppose our universal set is a set of real numbers, and our set A is the interval from negative 2 to 4, consisting of all real numbers satisfying the inequality negative 2 less than or equal to x is less than 4. Now, recall in our interval notation, we use a square bracket to indicate that the endpoint is included, and we use a parenthesis to indicate that our endpoint is not included. So the square bracket in the set A indicates that the endpoint negative 2 is included in the set, and the parenthesis on the right for 4 indicates that 4 is not included. And our set B is going to be the interval from 1 to 7, and we have an open parenthesis on the left side, so 1 is not included and a square bracket on the right side indicating that 7 is included. And we want to find the following sets. So again, we'll start with A union B. So this is again the set of all elements in either A or B or both. So A union B is going to be the set of all real numbers that satisfy either of the two inequalities. And if you examine these two inequalities, or better yet, if you actually draw these two sets on a number line, you can see that the union of the two sets is going to be the interval from negative 2 to 7. 
So this is uh, the set of all real numbers satisfying the inequality negative 2 less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 7, which we can write in interval notation using square brackets negative 2 to 7. Next up, A intersect B. This is the set of all elements in both A and B. So this is going to be the set of real numbers which satisfy both of the inequalities. And again, if you examine these two inequalities, or again, better yet, draw the sets on a number line and see where they overlap, you'll obtain that this is going to be the set of all real numbers satisfying the inequality 1 less than x less than or equal to 4, which we can write in interval notation as the interval from 1 to 4. A complement is the set of all elements in our universal set U, which are not in A, so this will be the set of all real numbers x, such that x is not in the interval from negative 2 to 4, and so this is going to be the set of all real numbers x satisfying either x is less than negative 2 or x is greater than or equal to 4. And we can write this in interval notation. We have to use two intervals and take their union. So this will be the interval from negative infinity to negative 2, union the interval from 4 to infinity. A minus b is the set, again, of all elements in A that do not belong to b. So we're going to start with the set A, and we're going to remove all elements which also belong to the set B. This will be the set of all real numbers satisfying the inequality negative 2 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1. In interval notation, this is going to be negative 2 to 1. And again, the best way to see this is to draw the sets on a number line. B minus A is the set of all elements in B that do not belong to A. So we again, we start with the set B, consisting of the interval from 1 to 7, and we're going to remove all elements which also belong to the set A, negative 2 to 4. And the result will be the set of real numbers in uh, the set of real numbers X, such that 4 is less than or equal to X is less than or equal to 7, which is the interval from 4 to 7. So let's actually do a proof involving our set operations. So for this example, we want to prove for all sets A and B, A intersect B is a subset of A. We write this in symbolic form for all A, for all B. A intersect B is a subset of A. And we can start our proof now. So we suppose A and B are arbitrary sets, and we need to show A intersect B is a subset of A. Applying the definition to show this, we need to show for all X, X is an element of A intersect B implies X is an element of A. So we now have another universal statement, so we can use a proof by arbitrary element we suppose x is an arbitrary element, suppose the hypothesis x is an element of A intersect B, and we need to show the conclusion that x is an element of A. Now according to the hypothesis, since x is an element of A intersect B, then x is an element of both A and B. So in particular, x is an element of A, which is what we needed to show. So this proves our conclusion, and this proves our result. So we can state our conclusion A intersect B is a subset of A. Well, this is obviously a very simple proof, but this is just to get us sort of used to uh, uh, the procedure for proving uh, results involving sets.